Here I am on the edge of our woods. The field border is right there, and then those are our woods, which go around that way, and all the way that way, back towards the orchard. And under this canopy, these are oak trees and beech trees, etc. But there's a good few beautiful big oak trees. And it's that time of year to collect acorns. So there's loads of them that have fallen, but you don't want the damaged ones like that. So it's time to fill the pockets with acorns. And they're so beautiful, the uh, empty cups. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Now, when that fell, this is probably the acorn that fell out because it's got the greenest. It could be that one or it could be this one, depending, look at how green that is. Oh dear, oh no, that's a leaf, good, okay. So collecting acorns to plant in a bucket. Oh look, there's a lovely green one because they're the most likely to um, not have insect parasites in them. So collect a few green ones and then I put them in a bucket. The dogs are all wondering what I'm being interested in. But the colors the acorns go through are wonderful. There's so many different colors that they um, transform as they mature. Look at this, there's another one. Look at that. So there's, looks like it's a, what they call a mast year. Loads of acorns all over the ground here. So I'm going to be planting lots of baby acorns. Sorry, I'm gonna be planting lots of acorns to create baby oak trees. This is a holly tree that died. And look, an acorn fell. It had tipped over, you can see, and it went that way. It's leaning on a bit of hawthorn there, but there's an acorn. I might leave that acorn. Maybe a squirrel won't find it. And maybe an oak tree will grow there one day. Who knows? Anyway, those are ash trees there. But you can see right here, ash, oak, beach, all right next to each other. Oh, sorry, and hawthorn. So that's the hawthorn leaf there. This is the beech leaf here. And then up there is the ash leaf right there. And then up there, way, way up there are the oak leaves. So biodiversity. Flora and fauna is what you want. Anyway, I'm going to keep collecting acorns. So this is the woodland edge. Part of it's in the field and part of it's in the woods, but it's got a huge biodiversity of trees. Here you can see we have the elder right here with its berries. Then there's more the elder. Then there's a sycamore right there. Then the lower story, there's more sycamores. There's some gorse at the front. Then some ash, ash tree lea uh, seeds are all there, ready and ripe. There's sycamore, ash. Then behind that is, I was standing under that canopy right in there where there's beech and oak and holly, etc. That's what a diverse woodland is. And I'm at the far end of the great oak field. There's the great oak, which is massive. And there's an ash tree standing on its own. And down there's the road. And here's another beech tree hanging out over the field with my dogs all around. You can see the sheep eat a, uh, the browse line. You can see where the sheep have eaten. The, uh, they've gone up on their hind legs to eat this high up. So that's the browse line. And you can see they've done the same with the beech trees to a degree.